Crypto drainers are truly the worst. I'm Ali Diamond, and this is Threatwire. Twitch streamer Rostaland was raising money to help pay for his stage four cancer treatments live on stream, and then the worst happened. An audience member encouraged him to download a verified game on Steam in exchange for payment. The game, Blockbusters, was highly rated and reviewed and was free to play. The game had been on Steam for almost two months at that point. Rossaland downloaded the game and found himself being the victim of a crypto drainer, losing over $30,000 at the time of the attack, which he was raising to help treat his stage four cancer. The game was found to be safe until it was updated on August 30th when a crypto drainer component was added to the game. The crypto stealer collects Steam login info and uploads data to a C2 server and acts as needed. This is not the first Steam game to be affected by crypto stealers as several have popped up this year alone. The game Block Blasters has been removed off Steam and the community has gathered together to help Rossaland TV recover his lost funds. The Atomic InfoStealer malware is making its rounds again. This time, it's being deployed through SEO-optimized malicious GitHub repos. The security team at LastPass published a new article on how macOS users are being targeted via SEO-optimized malicious download links. Attackers are bumping malicious repos to the top of search engines to get people looking to download tools like LastPass, Notion, Dropbox, and more with the goal of getting them to click through and download their bad versions. The bad versions are hosted on GitHub repos owned and maintained by multiple accounts in order to bypass GitHub takedowns. When the victim visits the repo, they're redirected to a GitHub page that has instructions for running a bash script to download the program they're looking for. The bash script runs a curl request that then delivers the payload to then download the atomic InfoStealer malware. This is not the first time we've seen SEO optimized attack campaigns. This has been a continuous problem for Google and other search engines for years. So be sure to confirm your URLs and to educate those around you who may not be as knowledgeable about free downloads. Story update. We covered the shy halud worm that was wreaking havoc on the NPM ecosystem last week. We now have updated numbers of just how far the work of the worm went. Researchers at Socket found that almost 700 public GitHub repos were created following the naming conventions used by the worm for exfiltrating secrets. They also found that a total of 526 packages were confirmed to be infected, including 17 packages slash versions of packages from CrowdStrike. It was originally thought that the software supply chain attack that took down the QIX NPM packages was to be the largest attack in history, but less than a week later, this has been dethroned most likely by a worm. Software supply chain attacks are starting to be more recognized more seriously by open source maintainers and teams across the globe. Is this something you're actively concerned about? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching Threadwire for the week of September 22nd, 2025. If you enjoyed the show, please head over to patreon.com slash threatwire. If you want to find me online, you can find me everywhere at Ending With Allie. And as per usual, good luck, have fun, and don't get caught.